Hey YouTube! So today I have a book haul video for you. They're all right here. These are all the books I've bought in I think like the past month. Whenever I did my last video, I think it was last month. We have 10 books. I feel like that's not, that's not terrible. I have only read two, but we're not gonna talk about that. So let's get started. All right, first we're gonna start with Funny Story by Emily Henry. The hardcover is like pink. I think that's precious. So our two main characters, we have, I think it's Daphne and Miles. She was engaged and they called off their engagement because her fiance was like in love with, I don't know if they were like best friends or something, but he was in love with someone else. So he broke up with her and then the girl that he left Daphne for also had a boyfriend, which is Miles. So both of their partners left them and now they are becoming roommates. All right, then we have Mistakes We Never Made by Hannah Brown. This one follows our two main characters. I think they had like feelings for each other in high school, but never like voiced that. So now they go on a road trip and I think they kinda explore a little romantic connection. Next we have A Fate Inked in Blood by Daniel L. Jensen. This one does have sprayed edges. Um, I'm gonna be so honest, I don't know what this one is about, um, but I think I kinda wanna go into it blind, so I'm not gonna read anything. I know it's gonna be a series. I don't know, I think her blood is like, gives her powers or something. I don't know, that could be completely wrong. Me saying I didn't want to know anything than reading the summary. All right, so, oh, she's under like a blood oath. I don't really know what that means, but. Okay, moving on to the two I have read. We have A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Maas. This is just like the little baby, little Christmas novella um, in the Akshar series. And then we have this brick, A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. This thing is, huge it's like 750 pages literally insane but this is the most recent release of the actor series and then we have my book of the month pick for june we have marco's got money troubles by rufi thorpe all i know about this one is margo is a young single mom and she has money troubles and I think she starts like an OnlyFans or something that's all I know about this one but it looks pretty intriguing why does this say it's $28 <laughs> next we have off to the races by Elsie Silver this is their new cover of this one I think the, the only the first in the series has the new covers right now um this is what the spine looks like i believe when they're all released like all the first print editions will have like a mountain just kind of like a with wild love well, i haven't read wild love yet but it has like a mountain it's gonna be like the same thing they're all gonna line up and look super pretty together so i finished off to the races but in the back is the novella out, what is it called out of the gate is the out of the gate novella so it looks like i haven't finished but i have but i'm reading the novella so i still haven't marked it as read on goodreads because does it count as a separate book or do i put it in off to the races because it's bound together I don't know. I'm counting it as the same book. I guess I could always count it as two books, but I'm just counting it as the same because it's all in the same binding. Oh, I didn't even say what it's about. This one follows Vaughn Harding and Billy Black. Oh, and they have lots of horses in here, which is so cute because I have a horse. So I kind of connected to them a little bit. 
Then we have Collide by, uh, I don't even wanna, I'm not even gonna attempt to say this name. I don't wanna butcher it. Ball Cabra. Cabra. Oh, Ball Cabra. I feel like that wasn't terrible. Um, if it's wrong, I'm so sorry. But look how cute this cover is. Like, are you kidding me? This is adorable. So this one follows Summer and Aiden. Um, Aiden looks like he's a hockey player. I don't know what Summer does. Oh, she wants to be a sports psychologist. So I guess that's why she's with the hockey team. I don't know, it's just, it's just really cute, okay. And I know they just released like the cover for the second book and it's so cute, so cute. What series is this? I don't, I, I don't remember what this series is called, but I'm so excited. Okay, last we have two books in the same series. I'm gonna start the Boys of Tommen series, okay? I have been convinced. These are very floppy, by the way. Very, very floppy, very bendy, very floppy. I know everyone was so confused because these are like so like tiny compared to like the thickness of the original covers. It's because these pages are like Bible thin and the font is teeny tiny. Do you see that? And like the margins, so tiny. Yeah, it's still 600 pages. This is 600 pages. That does not make sense. So we have Binding 13, book one in Boys of Tommen, and then we have Keeping 13. This one is actually a little bit bigger. Still the same floppiness. Yeah, this one's like 650 pages. And then, yeah, there's Saving 6, Redeeming 6, and Taming 7. I literally went to my Target and usually they never have Binding and Keeping 13. Um, I've only ever seen Saving and Redeeming. And then I've seen Taming 7 there as well. But they never have the first two books. So one day I walked in and had literally every single book. I, I did stop myself and only bought the first two. Um, also because I think it was either in saving or redeeming six. It had like the ombre spine. And I know that's like with all the like first print editions, but I think I wanna wait so it's like the regular spine because I don't have these in the ombre spine and I don't want it to look like off. So I'm gonna hold off until they're just the plain spine. I mean, the ombre spine would have been gorgeous, but if I'm not gonna have all of them like that, I'd rather I'd rather them all just look the same. So I'm so, so excited to start the series. And then I don't think I even said what these are about. I just know they're about Johnny and Shannon. I think they play rugby. I, I just know the series is like heartbreaking, very sad, not light and fluffy whatsoever. So, I need to be, be very prepared before I start these. All right, those are all of the books I have for you today. I will obviously be buying more. I think I actually might not do this specific just book haul video because it felt a little bit repetitive when I have some of these books on my TBR and I already explained what they are in my wrap up and TBR, TBR video, I haven't decided. Unless for my TBR video, I just don't go in depth on what the book is about. I'll either not go in depth on the TBR video or I'll just kind of combine so I'll either not explain what they are in the TBR video and then continue doing this format or I won't do this specific video and just tell you what the books are about 
in my wrap up TBR videos. I think that might be the easiest thing because this video is not that long. I didn't really have that much to show you today. So I think I might do the second option. But other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed and let me know if you've read these books, um, what your thoughts are, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!